All right, I got another one of these boxes. Uh, same place as Pristine Auctions. Um, as you can see, it's SPX2 Series 1. The box I opened in my other video is a Series 2. Um, I don't really know how those numbers correlate. I don't know if a higher number means more recent cards. Um, I don't know. Uh, if anybody does know, you feel free to let me know in the comments. But without further ado, let's check out what is in this box. So once again, these are, you get a graded card. So first off, they come with cases, which is nice. I still have my other box that has these cases in it as well. These are always good to have on hand. Um, there's a graded card and then a bunch of random cards. Um, so yeah, let's start it. We will, oh, I guess we will look at this one first since I just turned it over. Um, a Luka Doncic gem 10. Definitely, I don't, that's definitely not his rookie year. It's a PSA 10, but arguably one of the best players in the NBA. Nice to have. All right, so that is our graded card. I was hoping to save that for the end, but I guess I turned it over first. So let's start ripping into these packs. So here's another... Now, the crazy thing is, is that I got this same exact, well, maybe not the same exact card, but I got a Jerry Rice on the Raiders card in a no-touch case, or one-touch case, uh, with the previous box. So, maybe there's a trend here. Uh, let's save, let's go through the actual cards. Those two, it seemed like one was a autograph card and the other one was another one, or one touch. So let's see what we got in here. So in our case, we have a Roberto Alomar. Okay, I mean, nothing particularly special about that. Prodor. Cal Ripken. It's a Matt Harvey. I think at one point that card was probably worth a bunch. Or not a bunch, but worth more than it is now. Let's see, is that numbered? It is. It's numbered out of 150. Matt Harvey, New York Mets. Might be good for a Mets fan. Uh, Icky Woods. Funny because uh, the commercials they were showing with Geico, with Icky Woods in the uh, supermarket, I was kind of saying, how do people know who this guy is? Uh, the new, the younger crowd. Uh, you got Bo Bichette's dad. I remember this kind. Of, I remember this card when I uh, when I was a kid. Dave Parker, Willie Mays catch. Cool. Kevin Durant on the Brooklyn Nets. Not numbered, so this is kind of probably just a, a common. Barry Sanders. Definitely a lot of these cards are cards that I had when I was a kid. A Hank Aaron Ziploc card. A couple of... And Garen, interesting cards there. Ozzy Smith. All right, so nothing too, too crazy in that. Ugh. 
<clears throat> a White Sox team card. Whom is this from? 1979. 1979. White Sox team card. PJ Washington. Rookie card. Andre Reed, Hall of Famer. Dick Snyder. Definitely a mix of old school cards with Dan Fouts. This is like from the playoff series. It's cool again. Patrick Waugh. More Alomar. Edgar Martinez. Old school Daryl Strawberry. Another. Look at that. Back to back. Eddie Jones. Odell Beckham. All right, nothing too particularly interesting in those. We did have a couple cards that were protected. The cases. Oh, this is another, oh, this is the one I was gonna try not to open. <clears throat> Let's go here first. Glenn Hubbard. I don't really know if that's an actual autograph or not. Charles Barkley. Upper Deck Encore. It's kind of cool again. Ken Griffey Jr. That's cool. Sanders. I mean, a lot of cool looking cards in this one. Brett Hall. Shaquille. Danny Ainge. Adrian Peterson. Classics, Don Ross Classics, Randy Johnson, Ed Belfour, Hakeem Olajuwon on the Raptors, Ken Griffey. Ninety-seven. Another Barkley. Drew Brees, Legends in the Making. Cal Ripken, Mike Mussina, Smoltz, Jack Morris, more Roberto Alomar. Now look at this, Forsberg. Some sort of reflective on it. Says reserve. Choice.
Choice Reserve. Mark McGuire. Kirby Puckett. Harold Reigns. Tim Reigns. Wait. All right, <clears throat> so this definitely felt a lot quicker than the other ones, but here's the another one touch. And this is a, ooh, it's pretty cool. Chase Claypool, rookie card. It is not numbered. So it's maybe just a die cut rookie card. Cool looking for sure. Yeah, nice. Might be able to get something for that. And then I got one more card left. And this says, you received a bonus autograph or relic card. Last time this was a Bob Feller rookie card. And how crazy would it be if it was the same exact? Look at that. <laughs> Another Bob Feller Autograph, not Bob Feller rookie. Bob Feller autograph last one. Bob Feller autograph this one. I'm sensing a trend. All right, well, had a couple of decent cards here. Um, I would say I, I got this box for... Uh, $40 again after shipping and um, the fee was close to 60 bucks. Uh, but I guess we will see what this brings. I don't know if there will be any. Um, I don't know if I'll make the 40 bucks back, but it's definitely fun opening these. So uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed and... Feel free to comment below if you want to make an offer on a card or uh, have something that you would like me to open. All right. Thanks for watching.